Happy Monday. Welcome to the Amber Shows. Did you guys see the BET 2015 awards last night? Great, great show. If you missed it, let me give you a little recap of what was going on. First off, uh, Icon, my homeboy, Smokey Robinson, was awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award. He looked fabulous. He still sounds great. He sang the track of my tears. It was great. Who does not? my generation and even the young generation now because these records Motown sounds is iconic within itself Barry Gordy was in the audience and everybody sang to tracks of my tears who does not know the word Smokey was dressed in a teal suit looks like it was shark skin or silk it was really sharp his wife looked beautiful she had on all white he gave a shout out to her and he also um, talked about how uh, for all the artists that are up and coming uh, you are not the first and those who are successful you are not the first and you will not be the last he talked about our our ancestors who paved the way for everybody and how much he loved the music industry and how blessed he feels and he gave Barry Gordy all his accolades and, and said that was his best friend uh, the Empire Boys were on as well um, uh, they were really good. They sang, uh, they sang their songs, you know, their songs, uh, J uh, uh, Jesse Smollett, uh, he um, thanked um, the Supreme Court for marriage equality. Uh, Brashear, he rocked it. Yaz Gray was there. Soraya did her performance. And uh, You're So Beautiful. And uh, he, they sang Drip Drop. Everybody in the audience was singing that, including Nicki Minaj. Also, Nikki uh, uh, won, she won so many awards, she forgot uh, what award she was thanking the crowd for, which was really funny. She had on a big, huge ring as well. Okay, did you see Diddy fell in the pit? He stumbled twice, actually. He stumbled when he was giving the award to um, Smokey Robinson, and then he fell in the pit when he was with, uh, with the little Kim, but he just blamed it on nerves. Uh, for the evening, but hit all the bad boys. Uh, they did a great job too. Uh, Puffy performed with old and new. He performed with Mace, Little Kim, Faith Evans, uh, one, uh, 112 of the Locks, Jadakiss, Jadakiss, and Styles P. Uh, he did a posthumous video of Notorious B.I.G. Uh, the crowd was shouting, bad boy. Uh, and everyone was wondering where was Craig Mack. But I guess uh, everybody couldn't be there. Uh, we know it, we knew it was going to be big, but we didn't know that the BET Awards 2015 would be so many memorable moments. Uh, it was just amazingly insane show. Um, also, Janet Jackson, uh, did, you know, she has a new record out. She's back from Dubai. She did thank her husband, who we thought that they may have been uh, separated or not together anymore. I'm not sure what's going on with them. Uh, Janet Jackson, of course, is an icon, is legendary, but she looked terrible. Her hair looked beautiful. The face is just like Michael Jackson's. I don't know. They've never revealed who their plastic surgeon is. You know, Judge, um, Jermaine has that face, but not quite as bad. But Janet, Latoya, and Michael all look crazy. Janet's face, I'm sorry, all you people who love Janet Jackson, I love her too. But she went too far, just like Michael did. It's, it's crazy. Uh, Tracy and Anthony Anderson, they did a great skit for Empire, for Empire pretending like Tracy was, uh, uh, was a cookie. And um, Tracy, and uh, I'm sorry, Anthony Anderson uh, played uh, Lucius. And then Lucius really did come out on stage, which was really funny. Uh, Amber Rose was there with Tickets Baby Mama. Um, they are uh, supposedly maybe a couple. They kissed in the lips. They were dressed alike. They both had on all white uh, pantsuits, but they looked fabulous. They really looked good. And uh, Rihanna, uh, she looked excellent as well. And while Chris was performing, Chris Brown, they did a shot of her to see what she was doing, and she was on the phone. Okay, so a uh, great show uh, for Bad Boy. Uh, I'm glad to see uh, Puffy was able to do his thing last night and show all his uh, iconic artists as well. Uh, uh, again, um, Nikki got so many awards she actually forgot 
uh, what award she was thanking everybody for. But this is the first time she did introduce her mother to the world. We had never seen her mother before, and her mother was on stage with her as she did accept uh, an award. I have some uh, uh, people who I wanted to talk about who said that they were going to quit, the, quit acting. You'll never see them in movies again. And those people uh, would be um, Gene Hackman. In 2004, he actually retired. Uh, also, uh, King Jeffrey from Game of Thrones. I don't know if you guys watched it, but he, the way he was murdered, he was murdered uh, in, the la in one of the last part of the season of King of Thrones, and Game of Thrones, I mean. And uh, he said that it was a traumatic event for him, playing the king like he did, and then being murdered the way he was murdered. And he said that he'll never um, go back to acting again. Uh, his real name is Jack Gleason. Russell Brand uh, said that he would never act again. He said all the, all the money he made acting made him feel guilty and worthless. He turned his back on Hollywood after um, divorcing Katy Perry. Also, Amanda Bynes, we know that she had a nervous breakdown. So she'll never come back to the movie business, she said. And also, um, the star of Blair Witch Pro Project, Heather Donahue. She said that uh, Hollywood uh, was too much for her. Uh, she just could not uh, deal with it any longer. And that she is now selling medical marijuana. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen said they would never go back into the movies. And... These are just people who said they don't want to go back in the movies. Kim Fields, um, she's joining Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, she's married to Christopher Morgan. Uh, they live in Atlanta. They have two children. So that's, you know, remember that's uh, Tootsie from Living Single. So I really look forward to seeing her. I wonder what that, what that, what that, what that is going to bring. If this, she's going to bring drama, if she's going to bring, you know, uh, bring them together. Uh, however it goes, I look forward to seeing her. Uh, Warren Sapp, NFL Hall of Famer, he was arrested for stomping and biting out his girlfriend, Shalice Moore. Uh, he's, you know, the NFL players, little nuts, you know, they get a lot of head injuries. Okay, uh, also, you can now get uh, medical marijuana in New York, in Goshen, New York, has a grow house, and you can just ask your doctor now for a prescription. It has been approved. I bet you didn't know that part now, did you? Now, and what about the, the uh, escapee? The last one was murdered, Matt was murdered, and they just caught the other one. They actually shot him in the neck, the second one, and handcuffed him, but they ended up giving him oxygen. I'm hearing that he's in critical condition, and they're not even sure if he's gonna live. All right, um, I think that's about it for now. Uh, we did touch on about everything. Uh, Matt, who uh, was murdered, the escapee, he was serving 25 years to life, and the other one was also um, serving lifetime. And there's still many investigations regarding that escape. There's still, the um, Cuomo uh, said that he, they're not finished with finding out how that exactly all happened, and they don't want it to ever happen again. All right, you guys, have a wonderful day. Thanks for coming to the Amber Shows. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and have a wonderful day. If you didn't get to see the BET Awards 2015, uh, it will be ran over and over again on the BET channel, so check it out. Don't miss it. It's a great look. All right, the haves and have-nots, come on tomorrow night, and we'll be talking about it. Have a great day.